Hi everyone, it's John from What Up, and welcome back to another video. Now we have some more Wheel of Time news to go through. Most of this comes to us from WattSeries.com. The link to the original articles we're going to talk about are down below in the description box. So if you don't follow them, go over to their website, bookmark that page, and make sure you check it daily. They always break the greatest Wheel of Time stories. And when you're done reading about the news, of course, come back here to the channel and watch me talk about it. For those of you new to the channel, I do one to two Wheel of Time on Prime centric videos per week, and that is something else we're gonna talk about. I have to get in the habit of not calling it that anymore, but we'll get into that in the video. And I always break down the news about Amazon Prime's production, The Wheel of Time. So I talk about leaks, set pictures, castings, news, anything that comes out, and I get a few exclusives here and there as well. So if you don't already subscribe to the channel, please click that subscribe button, click the notification bell, because the videos don't always come out on the same day. Now, before we get into the video, spoiler warning, in this video we will be talking about characters and plot points from the first two books of Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time series. So if you have not already read The Eye of the World and The Great Hunt be forewarned, I may spoil some of the character arcs and plot points from those two books. All right, with that out of the way, let's get on to the video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is a leaked casting, and you're gonna have to excuse some of the noise in the background. It's pretty noisy outside today, and there's not much I can do about that, so we're just gonna talk through it if we can. Now, what we're talking about here is a leak. Now, you're probably asking yourself at this point, why are we talking about leaks? Well, that's because Prime Video is giving us almost nothing in the way of news. We've had almost nothing. In fact, we've had very, very little from them except a little bit of interaction on social media since they released that three-second Moraine teaser with Roseman Pike quite a few weeks ago. Now, we don't know why, uh, but when that teaser came out, Prime Video shared it on their main account, not on the Wheel of Time fan account that they have going to interact with the fandom. So we are all very excited, and we kind of thought that maybe, just maybe, it was a start of the kickoff of the marketing campaign, and they would start marketing the show to the general public. And boy, were we wrong, because they've done nothing since then. However, I believe they're probably biding their time, and they're waiting to release the trailer, which in some information gotten here at the channel a few weeks ago, will probably release end of May, early June, based upon how the filming is going right now in Prague, and the marketing campaign can kick off and start advertising the show. This this is the, the hope, anyway. All right, uh, so this actress here is Sister Judith. You probably know her from EastEnders. That's the character she played there. Uh, that's her most recent television work, but she is an accomplished theater actress. She's been acting since 1991, and she's done a multitude of different things. She's done theater television as well as film. Now, she plays mainly supporting roles, but don't get me wrong, she is a phenomenal actress. In fact, she won 2003's Evening Standard Theater Award for Best Actress for her role in Iron. So she knows her craft well, and she can do it well, and supporting roles are her bread and butter. Now, she was cast as Megan. Now, Megan is a very minor character in The Wheel of Time in the grand scheme of things. She only actually appears in the book series for one chapter, and that's chapter 30 of Crossroads of Twilight. She's only in that chapter. That's it. Not in the rest of the series at all. However, she's very first mentioned in chapter 4 of The Great Hunt because she does come with the Emerald into Faldera. So, who is she? Well, she's a member of the Blue Aja, and she's a very, very staunch supporter of Swan Sanche, or Sanche, sorry. Um, so that's probably why she's been cast and probably why we're seeing her. So from the sounds of things, there are hundreds and hundreds of Aes Sedai, hundreds and hundreds of Ashaman who are named in the books, but we're probably only going to interact with a few of them, and we may see them up front, close and personal, in the beginning of the story, and we're probably going to see them come through a little bit here and there. So a minor character like Megan probably will show up a little bit more often and probably will have a little bit more centric task in the books because she'll be an amalgamation or a com combination of a multitude of other characters or unnamed characters or small part named characters and she can do a multitude of different tasks. Now don't get me wrong, I don't know that for sure, that's just my guess, but that's probably what's happening. Now this is really very cool because we haven't seen much in the way of castings and any little bit that we can get to try to piece together what's happening in season one makes me happy and Whereas the, we know they're going to be in Faldara in episode 7 and 8 of the first season, this is probably where we're going to meet her, which is very, very cool. So again, if you haven't already read the article that uh, Watt Series put out on that, go ahead and do that now. Now, Watt Series also released another article. Now, this article is, again, down below in the description box, and this is about director of episodes 1 and 2, Uda. Now, Uda gave an, uh, an interview back in December of 2020, but it just got released now. Now, um, it's really very neat. She talks about the little wheel of time just a little bit here, and we have some for Q&A here. So the question she was asked was, what is the favorite job you've done? And it doesn't have to be a directing job, but it obviously it can be. 
Now, her answer was this. Now, while there are many because I deeply enjoy what I do, be it a cinematographer or as a director, and there are many, 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 that's a lot of many's, but as a director and thinking more recently, for me, it would be The Wheel of Time, the fantasy series. I shot the pilot for season one and the second episode for Rafe Judkins, the show creator for Amazon in Prague last year, and I shot a little bit this year. Now, that's entirely the case. We knew that Uda was doing some reshoots back in November, so that is probably what they're referring to there. And she did seem to enjoy her time there. There was there was a lot of talk at the time she was directing, and she's a very talented director, so we're quite happy that she's part of the show. Now, she goes on to say, because it was just as an episodic director, you always come on to shows that are already established. So you are a guest. You come and you go. You get a certain amount of time to connect with the crew and the actors, and then when you really kind of find your groove, you already have to leave again, and doing the Wheel of Time was a really long commitment. I think I was roughly, I think I was in Prague for roughly eight months. Now that's entirely true. There is a lot of prep work before the episodes start. There is a lot of time and effort gone into uh, finding the locations, building the shots, and then the actual shooting itself takes weeks and weeks and weeks sometimes. Then she goes on to answer three. So building something up from the ground up, or this is the third part of her answer rather. So building something from the ground up, every detail in creating this world with so many amazing talented artists together and see if kind of rise up in front of us from nothing, you know, whatever we did, it was just incredibly exciting and fun and fulfilling. So I think that would be my favorite job so far. Now that bodes really well because she's done a lot of work in the film industry and having this be your favorite job. Well, I've heard nothing but good things from all the cast and crew I've talked to and some of the production team that they really, really enjoyed their time on set, that they really enjoyed their time working with people there all the people made the show they said the people they worked with were great and that everything was beautiful breathtaking and meticulously designed and well taken care of which is fantastic that bodes well for all of the fans at least so far as the production values and how they built things up and how well everyone got along so it doesn't sound like uda was an exception to that rule it sounds like she really enjoyed her time there so i'm quite excited to see episode one and two whenever they finally come out which is rumored to be this fall or early winter so we have that now we're going on to another little piece of news here. Now recently Madeline Madden and Yosha Strowski posted a few pictures on Instagram. Now I talked about one of Madeline Madden's pictures last video. Now this picture was her in front of the studio and it was taken down rather abruptly. It was put up and taken down immediately. Now we all know that Amazon has started to clamp down on the actors, actresses, crew, and production staff uh, for leaks. So they don't want them talking to anyone else. They don't want them posting anything and they want to try to keep things as secret as possible for the show. Now I'm not entirely sure why but it probably has something to do with the fact that it's an unfinished product they're scared how things might be taken out of context or maybe things just aren't quite done yet and they want to present a finalized finished polished project to the general public and not just to the fandom which i can completely understand but maddie posted this picture on instagram recently and it is a beautiful rolling hills these are in Prague, so we know these are nearby where she's filming and almost immediately afterwards we had these posts from yosha stradowski trailer with a view and then he says better. Now, these are also from Prague, so we know that Yosha is back on set. Now, from my sources, they are filming primarily in the studio. They filmed a number of reshoots and uh, addendum scenes right now in Prague, and they've been filming since about the first week of April, and the films are the shoots are supposed to go till the end of May. Now, I don't have an exact schedule, but this is further proof that we both have both Maddie and Yosha in Prague, um, and we haven't really had much of an inkling of any other cast there. Now, we've been watching like a hawk, but... Like I said, Amazon is asking them all to be very careful about what they post and what they talk about. So we don't get much. And what we do get, I believe, is probably very controlled at this point um, because they don't really want to let much out about the production. So there's that. Now, I come off of saying all of that, and then we have this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a member of one of the uh, Wheel of Time Facebook groups, and um, he asked this question. Now, this is not in English, so we're going to show you the translation here. The translation is this. He wrote, Uncle Amazon, when's the trailer for the Wheel of Time series? I'm looking forward to it. Now, if you look back here, that's what he wrote up top. And Amazon Prime Video, the Latin America version, responded. Now, this is a blue check mark. I checked it out. I checked the links and stuff. This is an actual response from an actual verified Amazon Prime account. And the response was this. Leave the trailer very soon, the series. I mean, it is a translation, so uh, it probably doesn't translate really well in English when it comes out that but basically and I've asked a few people about this what it means is don't worry about the trailer the series is coming soon enough um, 
And this is, again, we've had a bunch of different inklings. We had uh, leaks saying it was going to be released in 2020 until, of course, the global pandemic hit. We've had other leaks suggesting that it would come out sometime this year. I think Narg from the Daily Trollocs said that we would have a release of it this spring. Again, that was before all of the shutdowns and stuff. Um, I have heard myself that we're looking at more of a Black Friday or end of the year, November, December type time frame uh, to release a series. But we don't know anything for sure. Amazon has not talked about it. They've not given us a release date. I I think it's because mainly I don't think they know themselves just yet because they have not finished filming or shooting episode one and they're not sure what's going to happen there may be another shutdown there might be uh, other things that happen uh, there could be problems with locations there could be all kinds of things that interfere with filming um, and filming uh, a television series especially the scope is challenging in the best of times but right now during the pandemic I'm sure it's an absolute nightmare so they're being very careful with the release and what they promise the fans because we'll take anything they say just as is right to heart and we will we will hold them to it so that's probably why we don't have a release date yet and i don't expect to get a release date until they finish filming i also really don't expect a trailer either and they know they can do all of the post and finish everything up and actually release a series so that's what makes this so interesting i'm going to assume that someone over in the latin america office probably got a slap on the wrist or hopefully they didn't lose their job but they basically told us the series is coming very soon, which is not something they normally do. There's that friendly banter that we get on Twitter, uh, sometimes through Instagram, and very rarely on Facebook from the Wheel of Time um, or the Amazon Prime uh, actual verified accounts. Um, but this is something a little bit different. This is almost like a promise. So there's that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is Wheel of Time on Prime. And I've mentioned it a couple of times in the beginning of all my videos, I say we're Wheel of Time on Prime centric. And that's usually in reference to the Twitter account at Watt on Prime. Now, recently, I'm going to say within the last couple of days, at Watt on Prime changed their Twitter account to actually say the Wheel of Time. Now, this is a good thing because Watt on Prime doesn't really describe what the show is. The fans, the people a part of Twitter of Time, people on Instagram, people that are following the series closely for the last two years from inception all the way through production and filming we know what that means and in fact we've interacted with the account myself included a number of times and you've been able to joke with them laugh with them uh, whoever covers their social media aspect there is doing a bang up job it's a really good job but when you're talking about the general public it doesn't really have the right ring to it um, but it's the Wheel of Time show, The Wheel of Time. And if they're going to start interacting with the general public and not just fans of the series more, you're going to see them probably shift more and more to very easily recognizable words, phrases, and sayings like The Wheel of Time. The show's called The Wheel of Time. They're going to start changing all of their handles, their social media handles to that. They're probably going to start interacting in that way because, let's face it, as fans of the series, we are probably all going to watch it regardless of what happens so we are not their target for marketing we are not their target for uh you know getting the word out there because we already know what's happening and we already want it to happen what they want and they want people that generally maybe have not read the books or have read them uh, eons ago and they're not really uh, invested in the series currently they're not uh you know right up on it uh people that are fans of game of thrones the witcher other fantasy series or just people who have never even heard of the series to watch this show that's where their bread and butter is going to be. Those are the target audience because that is essentially what happened to Game of Thrones. More people read the Game of Thrones books after the show was released than before. This is probably going to be the same with Wheel of Time. So there's that. All right, so that's all the news we had to go through today. Um, I just want to mention that I want to thank you all for supporting me here at the channel. And uh, like I said, there's that noise we talked about. We're going to power through this. We're almost to the end here. <laughs> it's pretty noisy outside today. But... Uh, what we're talking about here is, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. I mean, I make this content because I really enjoy what I'm doing, and I enjoy giving this out to you folks. Uh, but the more subscribers I have, the more reach we get, the more people I talk to, uh, the larger the channel gets, it gives me more opportunities. And now I've spoken with cast, crew, other other people in production. Um, but a lot of times it's off the record. It's they don't want me to mention their names, things like that. If the channel gets a little bit bigger, if we can get more reach, more more you know, more engagement with the, the fandom at large, I am sure I can actually get, you know, named interviews. People will, will let me use their names. Amazon may interact with me actually too, which is ex essentially what I want at this point um, because we're not getting much news. I would love to have people from the production crew, people from, uh, you know, the, the cast, people from the cat, uh, like the, the, the crew on site, all interact with me and let me use their names. Let me actually interview them and give you folks real news. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. The bigger I get, the more chance that I'm going to be able to actually interact officially 
with Wheel of Time rather than the unofficially that I'm doing now, which don't get me wrong, is very great. I love talking to these people and uh, they're all very great. But if I can get the blessing of actually Sony or Amazon to start talking to these people, then we're looking at a lot more information coming my way and, you know, by proxy your way as well. All right. So again, click that subscribe button so we can get some more, uh, some more interaction from Amazon. All right. I want to thank you all for sticking with me here to the very end and listening to me ram ramble on like I normally do. And uh, here's to many more.